Today I'm going to show you the Nagoya Marriott Associa Hotel, a very comfortable hotel in Nagoya with amazing views. First I'll cover the hotel's location at Nagoya Station, then I'll show you around the room, then the hotel's facilities and what's nearby, and then I'll show you what it's like at the dinner buffet and the cocktail lounge on the top floor. Thank you to JR Central for providing my stay at this hotel. The hotel is actually owned by Japan Railways Central, the same company that runs the trains in this area and the Shinkansen. And their main offices are in this same building as well. The hotel is actually part of Nagoya Station. It's the same building above the station. Nagoya Station is the largest station in Japan and some say it's the largest in the world in terms of floor space. It's over 400,000 meters squared. I might have thought it was Shinjuku Station in Tokyo, but that's the busiest, not the largest. This is also the tallest railway station building in Japan and one of the tallest in the world. It actually had the world record until 2014. The building also includes department stores, shopping, restaurants and offices, so it's not all just for the station. It is useful to have all that on your doorstep though. When we arrived on the bullet train I found Nagoya Station quite well organised and easy to navigate. Nagoya is only 1 hour 40 minutes from Tokyo on the bullet train and it's just over an hour to Osaka and Kyoto so it's quite easy to get to. We've just arrived at Nagoya station and there's a sign to our hotel over there. You can get to the hotel through the station without going outside which makes it easier when you're travelling with suitcases and there is also an exit to the street as well. There's a lift up to the lobby which is very spacious and stylish and then there's lifts up to the guest rooms which start on floor 20. I like how the light reflects off the fountain. This is one of the largest hotel rooms I've stayed in in Japan. This is a deluxe room which is 409 square feet. Standard rooms are 269 square feet. Welcome to our room in Nagoya. I haven't really looked around that much myself yet so let's have a look around and see what there is. We've even got a doorbell for our room. Hopefully Phil's going to let us in. <laughs> Why, hello. <laughs> and I know you're probably looking at the view out the window. Let's have a look at the room first. There's a space by the door for your suitcases. Lots of storage there. What's in here? Wardrobe, oh, automatic light. There's some hangers. You do quite often get a, uh, a Febreze or air freshener in Japanese hotel rooms, always handy. I've got an ironing board, an emergency torch. You get them in case there's an earthquake or something or an emergency. Oh, we've got slippers to use in the room and a safe, which I always use. I always put my yen in there to keep it safe. We've got pyjamas. <laughs> and what's this? mystery thing. Is it an iron? Oh it might be. Yes, an iron in a little carry case. And here's the tea and coffee making facilities. This up here is for ice. There must be an ice machine somewhere I'm guessing. We've got a kettle, you get some bottles of water, always good. And there's a coffee machine. Looks like we've also got some green tea. Oh, that's something you don't normally get. There's a whole selection of cups, saucers, bottle opener, very useful. Coasters, glasses and spoons, very nice. And it looks like there's a mini bar. I'm guessing that's in here. Yep. Tempting treats in there. <laughs> but it is always useful to have a fridge to keep your stuff as well. Now let's have a look in the bathroom. We've got a nice full length mirror on the door. And this is such a spacious bathroom. Look at that. We've got a shower and a bath and a massive mirror to see yourself clearly. We've got a Japanese toilet with all the buttons here. I did actually try them out the other day. My review is warmer than expected. 
<laughs> it's the shower cubicle, nice glass cubicle. And you get shampoo, conditioner and shower gel provided, so you don't need to bring them with you. What have we got here? Body lotion, soap, face soap bubble wash, sounds fun. <laughs> Some tissues. What's this? BGM off background music. What? I wonder if you have to have that turned on somewhere else. I think I might know. We'll just get that later. <laughs> Phil's got an idea about that. Oh wow, is that some scales? So you can, but that is useful actually, so you can check your suitcases before going home. Look at all this stuff. An array of amenities. <laughs> You've got a hairdryer. Hotels do normally provide a hairdryer in Japan, so you don't need to bring one from home which is good because they use different voltages here, so you don't need to worry about that. What have we got? A skincare set. All sorts of things. Pads for like makeup removal, hair bands, toothbrush, a razor, hairbrush, shaving foam, mint flavoured mouthwash, shower caps, there's some cotton buds, everything you could need and down here we've got more towels and what's this it's a smaller oh it's um a little body towel to use in the shower that's nice on a little trolley let's put that back under there and here's the bath it, it looks like a full-length bath actually more like a western style bath often in a japanese hotel room you get a shorter bath that's Japanese style and there's a shower head in the bath too. Oh and this is for if you need to hang up your clothes. Oh, you need to twist it first. Ah oh, there we are. It's a washing line for if you need to dry your clothes. Oh and we get dressing gowns. <laughs> Fluffy white dressing gowns. There you go Phil we can dress up in our pajamas and dressing gowns. <laughs> and look how big this room is. We've got so much space. Wow. There's a desk here and a mirror for doing your makeup and getting ready. There's a massive TV, just some storage cupboards. What do you think that one's for? Shoes? Maybe, yes. Maybe. There is a HDMI cable tucked up back there as well if you wanted to plug anything into the TV. Oh, sure. that's useful. You've got a desk here for having a meeting. <laughs> this meeting. <laughs> oh, and that's good. They have recycling. Always good to see. We've got a little sofa here for lounging on while you enjoy the amazing view out the windows. I'm going to shut the curtain behind me so you can see it better. Look at this. We don't even need to go to an observation deck in Nagoya. We've we're staying in one. <laughs> this is such an amazing view. And when we arrived just now, it was just sunset and the sky looked really beautiful. And down there, you can see the tracks at Nagoya Station. I saw the Shinkansen just now. There's a train going past. You can see some of the shops, there's big camera. Nagoya goes on for so far, it looks really big. Amazing. So here's the bed. I think it's a king size bed. It's very wide. We've got lots of space. And we've got an iPad for the room. Now what does this do? English. Terms and conditions. Room lights. So you can control the lights from your iPad. Air conditioning. Room sign. Ah, does that control things outside the room do you think? Yes, there's buttons on the um, panel next to the door as well, these, these same options. Mm. So yeah, it will control if you want um, do not disturb or if you want your room made up. I oh, guess. very nice. So instead of the cardboard things you hang on your door, you've mm. got it all here. Questionnaire, breakfast info, useful, room service, amenities, I guess you can order more stuff that you need. Stationery. <laughs> I love stationery. <laughs> You can order more tea and coffee if you need it. Uh, laundry, 
laundry news that's got all the information about the laundry services information hotel information neighboring information nagoya travel guide nagoya meshi that's nagoya food there are several local specialities here I'll hopefully be trying out oh atm map that's useful sightseeing hotel events congestion you can check the current situation of our hotel facilities also i guess if you want to know if a restaurant's busy maybe mm. we'll try that out in a bit yeah that's everything to know room lights oh yeah so i guess if that has turned the room lights off you can't tell because i turned all these on <laughs> we wanted it as bright as possible for the, for the video you do have buttons here for that as well and there's plug sockets right next to your bed for your chargers. Oh, there we are, dimmer switches by your bed. They also give you that. What is this? A mystery box. Please feel free to charge. So that's a Japanese plug with a lot of connections. <laughs> oh, wow. So you can plug loads of things in to charge. That's so useful. Mm -hmm. This room was very comfortable. There's so much space. Everything is spotlessly clean and in perfect condition. We've worked out what's going on with the BGM, the background music in the bathroom. So you put the TV on and then run over to the bathroom. You turn on the background music in the bathroom and as if by magic you've got the sound in the bathroom while you're in the bath or the shower or doing your tea you can enjoy the Japanese TV we've worked out what the deal is with the congestion meter on the iPad so when you scan the QR code with your phone it tells you how crowded different areas of the hotel are so there's the front desk not crowded not many people there uh, that's the buffet restaurant there's quite a few restaurants here the concierge lounge, not crowded. The gym, the swimming pool. The Bonvoy Elite Lounge is crowded though. That's where everyone is at the moment. That's useful if you want to go swimming and you don't want to go if it's really busy. On to the facilities at the hotel. There's a gym with a swimming pool. You do have to pay extra to use it. At the moment, it's 3,300 yen for a day pass. That is quite normal at Japanese hotels. Not many hotels have pools, but when they do, they're not usually included in the cost of your stay. There's also a whole choice of restaurants and bars in the hotel. There's a buffet, a French restaurant, a Kyoto style Japanese restaurant, a Chinese restaurant, teppanyaki, which is cooked on the grill in front of you, a small pastry bar, a tea lounge in the lobby, the main bar, and a sky lounge on the top floor, which we'll be visiting in a minute. I do recommend booking if you wanna visit the restaurants, and if you have special diets, tell them in advance. We went to the dinner buffet, which is called Pergola. We're at the buffet at the hotel for dinner. They've got so many different things around the buffet. There is even ramen on the buffet. For me, there's meat and fish in quite a lot of things, so there's not a huge amount of options for the main course, but the dessert looks really good. So I've mainly got some veggies and salad. Healthy dinner for me. And this is a watermelon caprese salad. Caprese salad? I'm not sure how you say that. Looks nice. What did you like the look of here? This is clam, Hokkaido clam and potato. These are some pork chops cooked in something. Mm -hmm. um, some potatoes, why not? Mm -hmm. I had a hot kind of style fried chicken. Mm. So I'm going to start with it. Oh, and I've got a um, selection of fish as well. That looks very nice. So I'm going to start with this and then probably get some around. I'm definitely looking forward to the desserts. I can try all of them and they look really good. It's good to know in these times they provide you with gloves for using the buffet and there's an amazing machine that inflates the gloves so you can put them on easily. Phil's got a mini shoyu ramen. The ramen station was amazing. The ramen's cooked fresh to order according to your choices. They also had pasta, which is prepared on this amazing huge wheel of parmesan. When I saw this, I just had to try it. I noticed they also had mochi. They're rice cakes, which you often see as sweet mochi, but they can be savory as well. They had them grilled or steamed. They're really chewy and satisfying. Everything was very fresh and good quality. On to the best part is that I've got the Sakura ice cream cake and they've got mini strawberry shortcakes as well. 
This was a special dessert for cherry blossom season and it's one of those dishes I still dream about. It looked like it was ice cream being piped through the machine but it's actually flavoured cream like a kind of thick mousse in fragrant cherry blossom flavour. You often see this type of Mont Blanc style dessert in Japan. <laughs> Usually they're chestnut flavour or matcha. It was so cool how she was making them with that ice cream machine. In the lobby, there was this spectacular display for Girls' Day. It was so detailed, I could have spent ages looking at it. So for Girls' Day, girls are given a set of dolls on their first Girls' Day, and then they bring them out and display them every year on the 3rd of March. Oh, they've got special decorations for a year of the rabbits. Oh, there's a fish up there. <laughs> Cute. Ah, oh, Amaby, that's cool. <laughs> Oh yeah, that does look like the one I drew. <laughs> so, celebrates daughter's first girls festival and wishes growth and good match. Each decoration has a special meaning. For example, the owl symbolizes no hardships and the monkey symbolizes rid of misfortune. Can you imagine making all these? I wonder how many people did it. Beautiful. There's a prawn, what do you think that symbolizes? A kimono, cat. These are really cute. After dinner, we went for a quick walk around the streets. The main shopping areas of Nagoya are Sakai and Osu, which are about five or 10 minutes away on the subway. We just walked around the station area. We spotted the main fish market, which is always a good place to visit for street food or for a sushi breakfast. Some party lights on the river. It's an unusual building there. As always, not matching any of the other buildings in the street. We finished the evening with cocktails at Sky Lounge Zenith, a bar on the top floor of the hotel. The ceiling's really pretty. It's called Sky Lounge Zenith, so it's got a galaxy theme to the ceiling. I'm going to try the speciality cocktail for cherry blossom season, the Heartful Berry. They've got a non-alcoholic one as well, the Blossom Cooler. They also have a selection of rare Japanese whiskies. Here's our drinks. I've got the cherry blossom cocktail and Phil's got a long drink, the blossom cooler. It's nice how they both have come with blossoms on. Oh, live music starting. and the lovely view and Nagoya Castle looks really cute outside all illuminated I've got a cosmopolitan there's nothing like live music it was so relaxing and a lovely way to end the day enjoying the views of Nagoya but I think this is on the 56th floor it's like being on an observation deck such a great view I love how the castle's illuminated and looks like it's glowing. If your room's on the right side of the hotel, you might even get a view of Nagoya Castle from your room. Also, can I have this ceiling in my house, please? <laughs> The view was amazing during the daytime as well. I especially liked how you could look down at Nagoya Station and see all the trains going past and the Shinkansen. It looks so tiny when you're up this high, like a model train set. I hope you found that useful. The Nagoya Marriott Associa Hotel was a lovely hotel to stay at in an excellent location right on Nagoya Station. It felt luxurious and very spacious and it was a real treat. Coming up, I've got some more about Nagoya, including a visit to the train museum, the SC Maglev and Railway Park, which I really enjoyed so much. It has lots about the Shinkansen and the new Maglev trains, and I had a go at driving the Shinkansen in their simulator. I can't wait to show you. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to catch it. There's new Japan videos on Thursdays, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.